Hello there everybody and welcome to another deck profile here. I am going to be profiling the, uh, try and get that in focus, I'm going to be profiling a magician deck that I took to locals on Saturday and finished 4 and 1. I had never played this deck before, uh, never even really looked at any of the cards, didn't know what any of the effects were, um, and I wasn't allowed to look a little challenge I made myself before the first game. So I just shuffled up, I went on, uh, won my first three games, 2-0, uh, 2-0, 2-0, lost round four against the mirror match with Draco Slayers, so the more expensive version of this deck, 2-0, and I then won my last round 2-0 also. I uh, I think the deck was a lot of fun. I'm gonna basically it's gonna be my project for the next year or so, or until Konami hit it on the ban list. But I don't know if they will. Too hard. Uh, hopefully, just Draco Slayer when I get a cheap reprint. Um, so yeah, um, let's say I'm fairly new to the deck, so this is just how I got it. Um, if anybody has any fixes, please do leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I know it's not a complete or a perfect deck. And there are some cards that I have thoughts on that I want to take out, but I'll quickly get into the deck. Uh, this will be a quick video, I'm not really going to explain much because I don't know a lot about the deck. So I've played three Dragon Pit Magicians, three Oak Dragon Magicians, three Wisdom Eye Magicians. This is one card, I'm not sure it should be at three, but you know, I'm probably wrong. One Dharma Eye, one Time Breaker, one Noble Dragon, and one Tuning Magician. Well, that's the only non Pendulum Magician that I played. Um, yeah, so these are obviously your scales, this searches your scales, uh, and these guys are sort of just tech choices. This guy, not entirely sold on him yet, but we'll we'll see. The jury's still out, we're going to test it some more. He's a good level 7, so good attack, good defence. His effects are okay, I think, I don't really use them very much. Um, I mean, he, he stops them being destroyed by card effects every turn he summons, so yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, time Breaker is okay. Uh, he's another just another scale too, but he also protects stuff and his banish effects okay as well. Um, but never really used it too much. Then the odd eyes uh, engine we play. I say engine. The odd eyes monsters. We played three odd eyes pendulum dragons and an odd eyes gravity dragon. Uh, I really like this card. This card won me game. I mean, it didn't. I had already won the game, but. Having that stop me if I weren't playing any cards to even try and come back, so yeah, uh, and these guys are just some good utility cards in the deck. Uh, other uh, Pendulum Monsters we play, we play three Skull Crowbat Jokers and two Magic Specter Unicorns. I'd like to bump this up to three. I think it's it's very good in the deck. I think, you know, being an untargetable spellcaster that bounces stuff is pretty silly, but yeah. Do like him. Uh, play another small engine. Play two performance damage jugglers, a performance hat tricker, and a glow bulb. Um, this is literally just for these two to make me sure you beast. Pretty much. And there are some other players that you can do with it as well, but that's the primary reason. And the glow bulb plus a level six is also some of your level seven synchros, so you know that's pretty good. Uh, on the spell cards, we play three pendulum call. Three Wavering Eyes, two Sky Iris, and a Terraforming. So, this is like your search package. So, obviously, these search out your skills, this searches out your skills and disrupt your opponent, this searches out your Red Eyes cards um, and stops your skills being targeted. That's pretty good. And Terraforming searches out this. I would like to add here probably a Chicken Game. I think that would be really good in this deck. Also, Legend of Power Dragon, just for when I'm not OTKing, or even if I am, even if I can draw this terraforming in the chicken game and draw a card into Ancient Power Dragon into this, get an odd eyes card, summon an odd eyes card, overlay, boom, 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 do some silly plays that way. But yeah, that's the search engine of the deck, so you know, it plays nine search cards, uh, you know, not just nine search cards, there are other search cards as well. But you play one odd eyes fusion and one odd eyes advent. They were really good for summoning the other eyes monsters. One Rageki, one Sword of Warning, and one Grand Horn. I'd probably put these and not bother playing any traps. The only traps I'd think about playing would be um, some trap hole cards if we could get hold of the trap tricks, trap hole XYZ. But 
I'm not going to go out my way to get one of those. Like I could probably put a chicken game in. So over this and then just something else over that one. Uh, not I'm not entirely sure what I'd add. Um, but I also want to take out this engine. Uh, I've been reading online that the Speedroid engine is quite good. Not sure what that entails, but it's something I'm willing to look at. Uh, so that's the main deck, uh, 40 cards. Quickly run through the extra deck. Uh, I didn't really make much of this. So there's an Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Let's just bring that there. Two Odd Eyes Absolute Dragons. Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sark. One Big Eye. One Utopia Beyond. One of this Naruto guy. One Trapeze Magician. One Castell. One Enlightenment Magician. Uh, one uh, Meteorverse Dragon. One Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. One Beast. And then these two fusions of Vortex and Rune Eyes. Um, so I'll quickly go through what I made. Made this for Swag Factor. Made this because it's good. Uh, made this once against Exodia. Could have made it if I went first playing against the Mirror Match. Uh, Moonlight Dragon. Wish that was Ancient Fairy Dragon. Meet your Reverse Dragon. Make that a lot. Enlightenment Paladin. Didn't make that. Castell. I made that but I wish it was Diamond Direwolf. Trapeze. I OTK'd with that. Didn't make that, but I could have made. Actually, that could have been my field. Sorry, you can't see that. That could have been my field against that uh, mirror match if I'd gone first. But uh, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? So we have to play the actual format. That's fine. Uh, Utopia didn't make that. Probably should have done. Big Eye didn't make that. Draco Sack made that, but I was already losing and I lost. Uh, Absolute Dragon made that. Old Eyes Rebellion again made that for Swag Factor. So that's the deck. Uh, I hope you enjoyed having a good look at it. And if you've got any fixes, please do put them in the comments down below. Um, if you can, anyone can tell me what's in that Speedwide engine, uh, that would be absolutely amazing. I haven't got the money to buy too much or anything this month, really. But um, especially expensive cards like Omega and Draco Slayer and stuff like that. Um, until I at least sell some stuff on eBay or Facebook. And yeah, that's the deck. Uh, you can probably hear the rain, I've just started now because I've just started recording a few videos, which is typical. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you all next time.